Oh, Lord, let's go to uh, my home. Well, no, is it my home state? I don't know. Country Music Television is removing country singer Jason Aldean's song, Try That in a Small Town, from its rotation amidst growing backlash. Uh, the song, which contains violent news footage and provocative lyrics, sparked controversy and accusations of promoting violence. Many celebrities and musicians are calling him out. The Views' Sonny Houston explains why Aldean's video choices were intentional him the benefit of the doubt. And I'm pleased that you are, and well, I'm you, pleased you, that you, you are. you do agree that he should be allowed to say I, whatever he because wants. Because as a lawyer, when I put my legal hat on, yeah, okay. I don't believe in censorship. Right. However, this man is from Macon, Georgia. My father's from Augusta, Georgia, and Macon, Georgia. I both? spent many summers there. Yeah, both. I spent many summers mm -hmm. there. It is one of the most racist places in this country. Mm -hmm. So don't tell me that? that he knew nothing I'm about not, what that imagery I didn't meant say he didn't and what he. Uh, so I don't give him the benefit. But I'm saying, of, I don't along with him, more doubt. people should the also other, be the other held thing accountable. Is that what I what was evoked for me, which was you know. I, you're not going to get out of this town. Yeah. Are those sundown? Yeah, don't let the sun areas go down on because your ass. There were, when here. there were times when black people, my mother's in the audience today. Thank you for coming. Um, and my mother and father, because they were an interracial couple, were run out of South Carolina by the KKK. And. My father is still scarred from that experience, and you are still scarred from that experience. So We're don't all tell, still scarred from yeah, that experience. So don't tell me that not only was he aware of what he was doing by using that imagery, he embraces that imagery. And unfortunately, this became the number one song on US iTunes. We have a problem in this country about race, and the biggest problem is we refuse to admit that it exists. Well, don't you Thank you, Sonny. Because in that song, Aldine calls out the 2020 Black Lives Matter protest after the deaths of George Floyd and threatens for protesters to try that in his small town. By the way, shout out to the, had the 10th anniversary of Black Lives Matter around the country this weekend. I was in Los Angeles um, with a frequent guest here, Roland Martin, uh, unfiltered, uh, part of the Black Lives Matter LA coalition out there. Um, and uh, it's very important to understand that, you know, he's, he's challenging that. Here are a few of the lyrics. Let's look at his lyrics. Quote, sucker punch somebody on a sidewalk. Carjack an old lady at a red light. Pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store. Y'all think it's cool? Well, act like a fool if you like. Cuss out a cop, spit in his face. Stomp on the flag and light it up. Yeah, you think you're tough. Well, try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Uh, the music video for Try That in a Small Town was filmed in front of the Maury County Courthouse where the 1946 Columbia race riot began. It's not too far from Nashville, actually. And about 20 black uh, boys and men were lynched, further drawing criticism and raising concerns about the message. Pulling the song from CMT's rotation comes after widespread criticism from online users and advocacy groups. Aldine defended the song, saying that the references made are, quote, not only meritless, but dangerous. He posted this take on Twitter. In the past 24 hours, I've been accused of releasing a pro-lynching song, a song that has been out since May, and was subject to the comparison that I, direct quote, was not too pleased with the nationwide Black Lives Matter protests. There is not a single lyric in the song that references race or points to it. There isn't a single video clip that isn't real news footage. And while I can try and respect others to have their own interpretations of a song with music, this one has gone to Far. So I guess you don't want people to try it in a small town, but you can't say it with your chest. Reese, help us <laughs> <laughs> wrestle with this, uh, this, this, uh, this country music man who's decided that uh, you shouldn't try that in a small town, but he can't own up to what he said. I don't know. Let me get out of your way. What you got to say about this, Reese? Well, you, you do make a good point. Billy Badass can't even stand 10 toes down in his funky ass little song. He sounded like RFK Jr. to me, right? Like, Ooh. you laid out the evidence, and then he turned around and said, oh, no, everybody got it wrong. I don't fucking think so. <laughs> don't try what in a small town? What? Come what on. do y'all have going on that song, bro? Let's talk about poverty. Let's talk about y'all missing teeth. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to shame people for missing teeth, getting their legs amputated because they ain't got no hospitals because they keep a voting Republican who's shutting down all the rural hospitals. Let's talk about a lot of stuff. Y'all got violence. Y'all got poverty. 
Y'all ain't got no jobs. You ain't got shit to do. That's why you got time to make this raggedy song to gas up people while you live in your mansion somewhere. I don't know, Nashville or right. Beverly Hills. Who knows where you live? You gassing up the small town people to really inflict violence against each other because a lot of these small towns ain't got nobody but white people in it going at it with each other. And so I just think it's really funny how you Billy Badass in the lyrics, but you don't have that same energy when it's time to answer to what you're putting out there in the universe. Okay? Absolutely, absolutely. The small towns ain't all that great, and ain't nobody trying to try in, the, in your small town because ain't nobody <laughs> trying to. So you're all right, Jason Aldean. All right, folks, back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. For decades, the tobacco industry has deliberately targeted black communities and kids with marketing for menthol cigarettes. It's had a devastating impact on black health. Tobacco use claims 45,000 black lives every year. It's the number one cause of preventable death. In the 1950s, less than 10% of black smokers used menthol cigarettes. Today, it's 85%. Ban menthol cigarettes. Save lives. We talk about blackness and what happens in black culture. We're about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause to long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in Black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Checks and money orders go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037-0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. 